Welcome to the Change Your World Veterans Virtual Summit put on today by the Public Speakers Association. I am so honored and excited to introduce you to Tracy Allen Haynes, who is amazing. So, Tracy, why don't you just go ahead and take it from here? Awesome. Thank you, Tanya Hoffman. I appreciate you inviting me to this very, very important summit that's dear to my heart because I'm one, a retired U.S. Navy veteran, and I'm just honored to be a part of this and help change some people's lives through the PSA as well. So without any delay, as Tanya said, T. Allen Haynes or Tracy A. Haynes, you can find me online on LinkedIn, and I encourage you to seek me out on LinkedIn and connect. And you can use the email, tracyahaines.com, and remember that and write that down because I've got a gift for you after my presentation. And today, I'm going to talk to you about authority wheel and how to use the authority wheel not only to position yourself, yourself as the expert, or uh, I'm going to show you, or you can use this to get your phone to ring and get clients calling you. Now, who's this for? This is for entrepreneurs. This is for veterans that are in business. These are for authors, speakers, and coaches can use these techniques to build their platform and be positioned as the authority. Now, I want to start off with a story. I like telling the story about Barbara Corcoran. She's the wildly successful real estate broker that's on Shark Tank. Some of you that do watch TV, I hope you're at least watching the Shark Tank. But uh, she, she has a remarkable story. She is a lot like a lot of us in how she started out. But when she got in business, she, was, she wasn't quite sure on how to get her word out or how to get, you know, let people know that she was in business. But one day, she opened the New York Times, and there was a quote in there by her competitor about the market situation in New York, about the condominiums and apartments. And he was quoted. And she made a comment. She says, well, why is this guy getting quoted in the New York Times and I'm not? And somebody that was with her at a conference replied that you probably need a PR company. And she was so naive. She said, well, what's a PR company? And he said, well, they get articles and content out there for you and send press releases to editors of these major publications so you can get published. So he said, why don't you come up with a report? And she's like, what kind of report? And he's like, well, come up with a report with a, a lot of figures because the press likes figures and send it to all the editors of the New York Times and see what happens. And she said, well, I don't know what to name it. And he said, well, call it the Barbara Corgan Report. So she did, and she put some facts and figures in there from the previous year about condominium sales in New York. And lo and behold, she sent it out to the editors, and the next day it was published in the New York Times, and the, and the headline said, Barbara Corgan says that the New York apartment and condominium market is such and such and such. Well, she was an immediate celebrity in her market, and that led to being recognized by Donald Trump. In fact, Donald Trump called her into his office to question her figures because he had the most expensive address in New York. So the rest is history, as you would say. She went on to successfully run a, a real estate empire for 30 some years and sold it for $66 million. And now she's famous on the shark tank. So what I'm about to tell you is not just for celebrities or it's not just for people you think are celebrities, local businessmen and entrepreneurs, authors and speakers and coaches can use these techniques to position themselves as the authority. Now I want you to, I hope you have a pen. I hope you brought a pen and some paper with you today. What I want to do is I've got I've only got so much time and I can't tell you everything. So and I've got something valuable to share with you and I want you to go to my LinkedIn page at tallenhaines.com. That's tallenhaines.com. Connect with me and, re and request to connect. You can use my email, tracyahaines at gmail.com. And I'm going to send you some information. I'm going to send you five daily strategies to get your phone to ring using authority positioning. Now, that same piece of paper, turn it over, and I want you to write a circle in the middle, and that's going to be our hub, and then I want you to write seven circles around it. I'm sorry, eight circles around it like little planets. Make them big enough so you can write inside of them, okay? So in the middle, we're going to start out with, now, 
as I said, this is for entrepreneurs that are positioning themselves in the market as a expert. Okay, so in that middle spoke or that middle hub, I want you to write the word authority interview. This authority interview is going to tell your audience about you so they can get to know, like, and trust you. Okay, we're going to do a story about you and a feature story, and we're going to publish it on an authority site, such as this is a circle outside of this, one of your first circles, right in there, small business trendsetters. This is an authority site that's going to publish your article, okay? It's an interview-style article. And the key about authority positioning is having third-party people talk about you, just like the New York Times mentioned Barbara in her report, okay? So now you have a third-party person telling your story about what you do and how you relieve a pain in your marketplace, okay? So you've got one circle filled in on the outside. The next one is... We're going to write a best-selling book, and we're going to become – not only are you going to become published, but you're going to be a bestseller. Now, you're probably thinking, how am I going to do that? Well, we've got many ways to get you published and get you to the bestseller status, so that creates leverage for you. Anytime you appear to be speaking or anytime you want to try to get on television or get a speaking gig, it's a good idea to have to be published. It also helps to become a best-selling author, and we're going to help you do that. So that's another circle outside the hub that you need to fill in is best-selling author. That could lead to speaking gigs, like I said. That can lead to television interviews and things like that that you want to attract the media. So the next one on the outside is we're going to, we're going to spin that first story, and we're going to put it on CNN. We're going to have you featured on CNN and have you quoted and – your article will be on there, and you'll be able to share that with your social media, that in fact that you were quoted on CNN, and we'll spin it in a way where it's newsworthy. And once you become a best-selling author, that creates news for you. Now we can do a, a press release, which is another circle outside of your hub there, is we're going to do a high-end press release or authority press wire release, and then we're going to announce to the world that not only did you sign a book deal, but now you're published and you're a bestseller. So we're creating the news, okay? We're creating the news. So you should have three circles on the outside of this authority wheel filled in. Now, as you create your authority, you must be providing content to educate and advocate for your clients. Write that down. Educate and advocate. You're not saying, buy my stuff. What you're saying is, this is how I can help you. This is the content that I'm writing that would give you some value regardless if you pay for it or not, okay? In that regard, you can write. You can be a contributor to a magazine. I'm currently a contributor to two major magazines. We're also a CNN contributor, and you can do videos. You can do blog posts and convert them into longer articles where you can publish on LinkedIn, Pulse, and things like that. That starts building your platform as an authority. So content marketing or content publishing is a very important spoke in that wheel. So you should have five circles filled in on your, on your authority wheel there. Next, you're going to create a digital magazine. Digital magazine is easy to produce, and you're going to invite other experts to contribute to your magazine, and you're going to be the editor-in-chief and provide content as well for your visitors, so you have that to market as well. The next circle on the outside is you're going to be on podcasts. We take our clients and we get them on podcasts and radio interviews around the world. It's, it's uh, All you need to know is the contact information on who to contact to get on these shows. And there's people that are producing podcasts that are begging to hear your expertise. So we guide you in the area uh, to where you need to request to be on these shows. So you should have all your circles filled in except for one. And once you get on, once you start getting this press, you want to, if you have a website, I hope you do if you're in business, you want to create what's called a newsroom or an online newsroom. This online newsroom is where you're going to put the links to your presentations or your news articles that are featured on CNN that are on the Authority Press Wire and the Small Business Trendsetters. And that way, when people go to your website, see, they see that other people are talking about you instead of, you know, when you have third-party 
people talking about you, that goes a long further way than you talking about yourself, okay? So I call this the Kardashian effect, and I try to put a positive spin on it. And, and those of you that have heard of the Kardashians, you know they're in the news every day practically. But what you have to do as an entrepreneur and a business person is you have to stay in the news, and people need to see you, what you're actually doing and providing content and solution to, the, to your target audience. And this creates a tipping point for you as an entrepreneur. Let's say you're a local real estate agent. Let's just use that. If you're a local real estate agent, and there, this is a crowded Me Too market where you have a lot of real estate agents, how would you break yourself out to be different from the others? The first one would be you would write a book. And if I was looking for a realtor in my area, and all the once I do a search for them and all of them show up and they're the same, but I see this one that has a book published on Amazon.com on how to buy property in that particular market. So who am I going to go to? I'm going to be gravitated to that person because you're perceived as an expert. And in the first part of authority, what is it? It's called author. You have to be an author to position yourself and be as the go-to person in your market. Now, these techniques, like I said, can be used for virtually any niche, and, and that's what we do at the Authority Syndicate and ImmediateCelebrityStatus.com is we take on the entrepreneurs and the authors and speakers, and this is how we position them by using the authority wheel. Now, this is a continuous thing. This is not a do it once and forget it. So you have to stay on top of it, and you can start creating videos. You can start doing podcasts. You can uh, do your own podcast and invite other experts to be on your podcast. So those are all authority spokes in the wheel. And then you add speaking to it. The PSA, the Public Speakers Association, gives you a great opportunity to impact the local community. Not only the local, but you have the chance to go nationwide with your presentation where you can get practice and be positioned as the authority in your market. So with that, uh, I remind you that if you go to my LinkedIn site or my LinkedIn page and you can use tallenhaines.com, it will redirect you to my page. Once you go there and you request to connect, I'll send you directions on how to be featured on a major network this afternoon if you take action. And that's my promise to you, and you can, you can do that by connecting. I'll also send you a five-day strategy on how to get your phone to ring after you position yourself as an authority and how to use this authority positioning to get your phone to ring so you can close clients and have people seeking you out for your services. I'm also excited to announce that the 2015 Bold Book Tour, Unleash Your Hero Within, we co-authored with Les Brown and 12 other entrepreneurs, bold entrepreneurs from around the world. We're kicking that Bold Tour off in Houston. We're having five, four additional locations in the United States and the UK in 2016. So check that out, boldbooktour.com, to see if we're coming to a city near you. And... Another another gift, if you connect with me on LinkedIn, I'll send you a digital copy of that book, and you can have to look over at your convenience. And, uh, again, thank you for tuning in, and thank you, Tanya, for having me on this summit.